Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. Let's create the integration test for our save batch. Let's copy the inside the anime controller IT, this method save. We can copy from anime controller test the display name and even the signature. Okay, so this one test client post animus slash batch content type application JSON. Here we are going to send a list of animus to be saved. And now we exchange, we expect the status is created the same. And here will be expect body list and then is uh, has size actually two and then contains anime anime well only one since we are uh, returning the same so let's uh, execute this method I have a breakpoint here, we can ignore this. Okay, so the test failed. Okay, so why did this, this test fail? We can see here that save all is uh, returning no pointer because we forgot to add the setup. So let's copy from anime service, this one, and then go back to anime controller IT. And when we execute anime repository mock save all, we are going to return this. So we should not get no pointer anymore. Let's execute again. Cool, it is working. Now let's uh, test the worst case scenario. Let's copy this save patch. Just duplicate this method. And now we are going to copy from anime service this display name. And let's copy this one as well. Just rename here just from save all to save batch here and here. Okay, worst case scenario, we are trying to save an enemy and this enemy has any valid name. So let's copy this setup because we are going to return the wrong value only for this method. So we are going to save all, we can ignore the type, basically any argument matters, any iterable should work. And here we are going to return one valid and one with invalid name. So this way our service will send to this for response status exception when empty name. Okay, so test client exactly the same thing. The difference now is that we are expecting the status to be is bad request. And then we are expect the body to have the JSON path status 400 so we just copy this one and we add here 400 remove the anime class cool so let's test now and it is also working so sometimes uh, you may have some exceptions going on because of the, the transaction here. So you would need to load that transactional uh, manager in your tests. But let's see, let's execute everything and see if everything is working. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like all methods are working. I was expecting some errors, but this is good. So let's stop this video for now. And in the next one, let's change and stop using the Webflux test. Let's say that we would like to use the Spring uh, Boot test. Actually, it's pretty simple. We can do it in this video. So let's just add here Spring Boot test. And we can add Web Environment Spring Boot test random port. And uh, we won't need this import anymore. We still need the extended width. But we need something else because now, as you can see, the test client is not being configured for you. You just have to add L, uh, auto configure web test client. Okay, so this one we will start the full container and let's see if it will work the way we were expecting. Because I was expecting the block helm to fail. Okay, as you can see, everything is failing. Let's see why. So the application here, as you can see, connection factor, defining class, cannot create because cannot find this suitable. That's because we are running from the test and we should copy this information that we have inside the application YAML here. So ideally you would have different profiles for tests and uh, production. But here, let's just copy the same. Let's uh, try again, run this entire anime controller IT. Okay, so we do have one error. Now we know for sure that the block hound is being triggered. Let's uh, copy what we have here because this is exactly the same problem. If we scroll down, you will see the random UUIT and we go back to anime controller IT and we replace here this guy. Let's execute again. Cool. So all of the, the tests are, are working now and we are running with full spring uh, context. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.